It's a fugazi. It's a fugazi. It's a woozy. It's a wazi. All right. Hey, you got the gabagoo? All right. Get this Let's go dildo. full Italian right Get now. Get this dildo in my face here. Let's go full Italian right now. You got the gabagoo? Got the something. You got the gabagoo today, eh? It's fucking, why it looks so faded? Oh, yeah, because it's hazy. That's why. Oh, my God. Stop asking so many questions. Welcome to the pod, you fucks. You're not even recording. I am recording. I'm kidding, bro. Welcome to the pod, guys. Welcome back. What is live? What, what we are fella? live here. How quickly oh. could you give us an intro? Like, if you just said, okay, I'm going to give you, give you a prompt. One second. Welcome back to Funny But Foul podcast with Armand and Hector. How quickly could you say that? Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what was it again? Welcome back to Welcome Funny back But to Foul, funny podcast foul podcast with Armand and Hector. Armand and Hector. Welcome back to Funny But Foul Podcast, Armand and Hector. Boom. You do it. <laughs> Welcome back to Funny But Foul Podcast with Armand and Hector. Oh, okay. It's not that fast. It's like what is going on, guys? Ooh, what is going on? What's up, Miami? Bah, 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 you got to do that, like, toxic YouTube shit. Like, what is going on, guys? Don't buy a used car. Buy a new car instead. Hey, hey, hey. eBay Motors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's start it off real quick. Real easy, okay? I got you. So... I know how important good pussy is to you. Christ. Right? So, based on this, right, just imagine she's like a six or a five, mm. but bomb puss. I'm in. <laughs> Damn, son. I'm in. Already, huh? I'm in. Okay. All the way in. Okay, you give me five, I'll give you five. Five examples? Five examples. Oh, damn, bro. Put me on spot like that? Okay. Yeah, dude, come on. Um... She's a 10. Okay. But living with her is impossible. What do you mean impossible? Fucking messy as hell. Doesn't pick up after herself. Doesn't really cook. Doesn't do much. She's a 10, though. Yeah, she's a 10, though. Yeah. You're basically, like, taking care of her at this point. It's it's how bad it is. How old am I at this point? Yeah. Mid-30s. Early 30s. I'm out. You're out, right? I'm out. She's a fucking 2. Fuck you. Yeah. How old is she? Uh, 25. I'm out, dude. 25. Fuck you. My dumb ass was better than that at 25. How <laughs> dare you? <laughs> fuck you. Okay. She's a 12. Oh, okay. Damn. She does everything. Okay. Mm. Like cooks, cleans, makes $200,000, is submissive towards you. Whatever the fuck you want. Okay. Whatever you want. Okay. But, but her dad, your dad likes her. Your mom hates her. I'm still in. I can see that happening just <laughs> in real in my life. Like your mom stops talking to you for like oh three months. Oh no, that's Hold too on. much. Your mom stops talking to you three months. Hold on. Three months after you get married. That's fucked, bro. But your dad's still cool. Your dad's like, Good job, Hector. <laughs> and your cousins are fine. Everybody Yeah, fine. yeah, I can see that. And your friends are like we're like, yo, good job. Good for you. That's fucking tough. This is not really a, a she's a 10 or whatever question. This is like, how much do you obey your mother? Yeah, this basically. This is what that really is. Yeah, basically is what that is. Jesus, that one's a tough one. Three months? And then we're cool? No, no, no you're not cool. But she's like content. Then she's, Jen's, okay, then she starts talking to me again. She starts talking to me again, but she's like, ah, I'm disappointed. You could have done so much better. And your whole life, she's going to tell you, like, you could have done a little bit better. Like, in the same, this tone. I don't know how your mom is, but, like, respectfully, this is how her tone is. Yeah, I'm still in. You're in, right? Yeah, I'm still in. All right. Come on. Give me number two. Mm. Let's do a last shot here. Jesus. That's only three shots. Bro, you got to drive. Yeah, you got to drive with fucking only 30% alcohol. You're 100% spick, so... <laughs> 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 you, you so how, how does that math add up? You still got 70% left, big man. You still got 70% Fuck left. Me hell, bro. Listen, I know Mexicans that get over the fucking uh, <laughs> get over the fucking border with only 10%. Bro, did you see that Mexican train that like fucking like 46 of them died. Uh, Jesus. Bro. Those are probably El Salvadorians, man. They always get on they always get on trains. <laughs> All right, salute. Salute. Sticky, sticky Ricky. Oh. All right. All right. Okay. Give me number two, baby. 
she's a four. But everything you ever wanted out of like basic life stuff is taken care of. So amazing food. Whether you want uh, healthy or whether you want some greasy ass fucking soul food is there. House is always kept in order. Don't ever gotta worry about that. Ever. Okay. Like to the point where you're like you're almost abusing it. Uh-huh. Like you're you're trying to see how much you can get away with, right? You're throwing okay. fucking underwear on, like, the table because you want to see if she's going to get pissed. She never does. She puts up with your bullshit. Okay. And she'll take care of yours, sorry, hers and a portion of your financial needs. What's like that, that's how what, much she makes. What portion? What other, oh no, like a part, let's say like 25%. 25%. She can take care of herself. Easily, 100%, and 25% of yours, regardless of where you are in life. Okay, as far as a celebrity, give me a four. Example of a four. A celeb? There are no celeb fours. Okay, then. You're okay. minimum six if you're a celeb. Are, are Unless you're, you're sure? like the ugly celebs. Joe, Joey Diaz. That's a guy. Because guys are funny. Girls okay. aren't funny. Okay. F- uh, oh. <laughs> 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 Jesus. <laughs> um. Caitlyn Jenner. That's a guy. <laughs> that became a woman. Still a four or less. Okay, sure. Uh, Chris Jenner. Whatever. Like, but this is this is okay. the situation. I would say no. You would say no. I would say no. Do you know why? Why? Uh, everything a man does is like depending on status, especially like motivated men. Sure. So, when you are basing your life on status what's like the number one status as far as like ability in a certain aspect of life of l- like example love how your woman looks beside you she's like a dime piece that's high status man you know sure you don't see dan brazilian with a couple of fatties Dude, <laughs> fuck <laughs> dan brazilian first of all no but you know what i'm saying yeah you sure. don't see like you know nba stars you don't see like you know, politicians, even politicians, relatively to how they look, their wives generally look a lot better. There are exceptions. There are exceptions, but there's a lot of trophy wives there, too. Sure. But I why mean, do you have to follow those guys? Why can't you just be the exception? Why do you have to live a life to make an uh, to, to show or impress? Why can't you just live a life of, like, pure greed and uh, shallow-minded thinking? What makes one correct and one wrong? No, I'm just asking you, why can't you just be the exception? Why do you need to follow this, like, trophy wife syndrome? The same reason. Why did you do anything that's mainstream? I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a point of, I think, people think of value and what they value the most. And sometimes it lines up with mainstream things, and sometimes it doesn't. I think generally for me, I still think in very shallow terms. Okay. And... I can't, I've been with girls that aren't that attractive, and I can't do it long term. Yeah, okay. It's it's a pain, and it's not fair to me, and it's not fair to them. It just tends to be a waste of time. So I'd rather do that shallow chick in hopes of finding a uh, a good-looking chick that also matches me uh, mentally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it comes to attraction, I like to live in mainstream, where you like the hottest girl, first attraction comes first and then personality comes and stuff like that i'm not gonna approach a girl that's got fucking layers on her neck bro <laughs> you know what i mean like yeah that's like the uh, that's like the opposite end of the spectrum though okay not sure. be that far but usually a four to a six is not like yeah I sure yeah yeah okay i'll give you an example okay Remember that Korean chick? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like a six. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Now, she is the top of that range, four to six. Sure, yeah, yeah. Like, she is the pinnacle. Yes, yes, yes. Okay? Now, that goes down, my friend. That fucking range, it goes down to a girl with, like, 14 fucking cysts on her neck. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I a see four I see. is yeah, sure, bad. Sure, sure. sure. 
I don't care if she's paying for my shit. I'm paying for my shit already. Fuck yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not going to rely on that. I'm paying for my shit so I can deal with that eight or nine. That's the whole fucking point. You think I wake up at 430 in the morning just to be cute? Just <laughs> want to wake up and do my hair? Like, yeah, get yeah. the fuck out of here. I wake up <laughs> so I can deal with the fuck, have a status of dealing with sure. those eights and nines. That's what, that's what everything we do. Cars, houses, whatever. You, you fucking, it's a player versus player world here. Like, you're dealing with the best mechanical engineers in the city. And I'm dealing with the best retards in the fucking city. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Yeah, the yeah. top of the top guys. Yeah, the yeah. top Gs. You know what I mean? So, I think uh, I think, I think, think we're all shallow in our and mainstream in our own ways. It just what we think is That was important. a very long-winded way of saying just no. Yeah. <laughs> I had to explain, bro. I had to explain. Did okay. You? Yeah, I had to explain. <laughs> okay. Um... <coughs> I have two scenarios you can go with. Oh shit. Okay, this is a two scenario deal. This is not like a this is not like a w- this is not like a yes or no. You have to, otherwise they kill your family. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, dude. Okay. All right, all right, all right. All right. Take it not easy. Not primary family. Distant, yeah, sure, distant sure. family. Distant family. Yeah, Second yeah. cousin and below. Yeah, okay. Whatever. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> They're done. <laughs> They're done. All right, okay. go. So, this one you can either Marry. You have to marry either e- one or the other. Oh, for life. Okay, I gotta pick one of these. One. Of th- one yeah, of th- I understand. Okay, okay, okay. One of them. Okay. She's a nine. Okay, educated, good family, you guys get along. But she only wants to fuck once a month. Okay. 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 The, the other one. Okay. She's a nine. Okay. She's a nine and a half, actually. Wow. Right? Okay. But she goes on business trips for two weeks out of the month. And she's not, like, you're not, like, suspicious of her. But still, two weeks apart every month, like, you know, there's possibilities out there. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, the first girl, I'm not saying that she stays home all the time. But like basically they, a guarantee. They both have busy lives. Yeah, is yeah, what I'm yeah. Saying right, you you guys leave at like six in the morning. You guys get back home at six in the evening. There's twelve hours apart. Yeah, yeah. Who do you go with, or your family dies? Fuck. Once a month. Once a month, doggy. We go hard in the paint here. At least like one day in the month. You mean? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So I, it could be, so it be like whatever, just just one day in the month. Yeah, yeah, you can like, like multiple you, times. You yeah, yeah. Fuck like seventeen yeah. times okay, in a okay, day, okay, but okay, like, okay, bro, okay. I, d- as much I as understand. I no, no I, I, get, I know where you're going with this. Yeah, as yeah. much as you're Puerto Rican, I know there's a limit on on your ability. Yes. Okay. I right. do have limits. Usually like twenty five. Uh, All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's get the fuck out of here. Like two. <laughs> two point five. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> two fucking point five. Ah uh, shit. Shit, man, this one's a tough one. The last one is like, there's no semen. It's just like, it's bro, just last like, one's uh, like, I'm, yeah, I'm just, it's just like dry, <laughs> it's like dry heaving. Jesus. She's like looking down and she's like, where is it? <laughs> Where's the cum, daddy? There's nothing there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, okay. so, fuck, man, this one's hard. And not like hard how it usually be. This is like a, like not hard cock. What? He yeah, no, not like hard cock. This is like. Fucking hard, hard vagina. Jeez, once a month. Damn. Come on, dude. It's like Jeopardy. TikTok on the clock here. I think. TikTok, or you just get butt raped in prison. Oh my god, dude, that's that's def- the third. Definitely option. don't want that. <laughs> it's either your family dies. <laughs> it's either bad, man. <laughs> I don't want to just kill myself at this point. Raped in prison, but you gotta live through it. Jesus. <laughs> or these two fucking dumb hoes. Or you can just shoot yourself. Fuck <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Option five. <laughs> but no, no, no. No, okay. But wait. Th- the second one is not a guarantee. It's just like it's just major sus, right? It's basically what it is. They're both major sus. What? Why is the first one major I sus? I told you they're both major sus. Why is the first one major sus? Wait. I, okay, well, they both have busy lives. Six to six. Right. So she's one of them is gone for two weeks out of the month. Yeah. One is that gone one makes for sense. twelve hours a day. Right. Because six to six. Right. You guys leave at six and you can come home back at six. What's us about that? It's all right. Fuck it. Option two then. <laughs> now you made it that way. 
Option two. What's option two? The two weeks out of the month. Two weeks out of the month. Yeah. Bro, she's definitely getting her back blown and clocked and cleaned out. <laughs> definitely <laughs> clocked <laughs> and cleaned then out. cleaned out. Damn. The clean. You know what I mean? Two weeks out? That pussy's wandering. Jesus. <laughs> just going around. Those two l- two little lips making like little violin noises. Jesus, dude. Just walking around the greater United States. You're a poet that I never knew I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one. Give me your last one. All right. Oh, I got a good one. Okay, so she's a 10. Okay. But the only way you can have sex more than, let's say, three times a week or two times a week is if you take it up the ass once a week. So I can only fuck her once a week? Unless I... No, I twice a week. You can fuck her twice a week. Okay. Any more than that, you got it. You need it up the ass once. Tell me, I'll just take twice a week. <laughs> 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 She's a 10, though. <laughs> like an actual listen 10. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Most of the people that I resonate with don't fuck 10s twice a week. So that in itself is fine, right? What about once a month? You can't do this. I already signed the contract. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already in the league. <laughs> now you're trying to kick me out the D league with a less trying contract. Trying to fuck off. Trying to rewrite this deal. Yeah, man. This is an eBay. Trying to bro. figure out the limits here. You can't make me rebit my fucking deal, man. All right. All right. So Thanks for tuning in, guys. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. Okay, so let's go to that. Uh, let's go to topics. Let's go to like topics. real topics. Pull real up the phone, Jamie. Real shit. Pull up the phone, Jamie. Real shit. Because we got a lot of shit going on, man. We got tons of stuff going on. We got Biden with his weak-ass legs falling apart and making terrible tweets. Then we got... Uh, like, really terrible tweets, man. Like, awful. Tremendous. Tremendous tweets. And uh, we also got fucking Donald, Donald D. Trump. Our boy Donald. Donald. Uh, China. I don't see that. No, no, I know, I know. Okay, but I'm like, he's, bro, he's, uh, he's in there. I'm, like bro, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, he's I'm like, in bro, there. you're freaking me out. The the Donald stuff's not there. Donald's, you know what Donald been doing? I'll tell you what Donald's Nothing. doing off top of the head. Fuck no. Don- Donald's, uh, I don't know if it's a C-suite or his whole corp, is basically been paying legal fees for any allies that are are getting uh, questioned. Um, with the January six shit. Yes. So he's been covering like hundreds of thousands of dollars of legal fees yeah. to these guys, and that's that's brotherhood. <laughs> that's fucking brotherhood. That's CYA is what that is, man. Right, right. That's 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 the great help, right? That is like the definition of CYA, right? But th- what's wrong with that? It's not wrong. It's just self fulfilling and self serving. But like, listen to me. If we it's were not like humanitarian, it's we fucking were, serving a need. Okay, if we were like self made billionaires, right? Okay, and I saw. You guys get questioned for my shit. Yeah. You think I'm not covering you? You have to cover us. I'm covering you before you know I'm covering you. No, I was going to say you have to. Right? So that being said, given what's at stake for you, you have to. Makes sense. Right? Makes sense. I, I, I'll pay that. Listen to me. I'm the type of guy, you call me at 2 in the morning and be like, yo, I need 10 Gs. I need bail. And I'll come do, I'll, I'll give you 10 Gs. I'll give you like six months paid off. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. and after six months, I'm, I'm showing up uh, you know, <laughs> at your parents' house, it's your work, you know, just getting that gourmet fucking dinner, just by force. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, you owe me ten grand. Let me just get some of your mom's cooking. Come <laughs> on. Um, but yeah, pull up that, uh, pull up that, pull up that one about uh, the the Chinese. Uh, China. The Chinese. Uh, Say China for me one time. China. 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 All right. The title of this article is called "The Chinese Scientist Reportedly Creates Genetically Engineered Babies Immune to HIV." Damn. You Why sent are we creating this babies? Why to we creating us babies earlier, like and I didn't believe the title when I first saw it. I'm like, what yeah, the fuck? Yeah. I mean, also like the link is not like the most. Yeah, it's kind of it's not sus, but it's like. What's the name of the link? extremetech.com All right, it's sus. <laughs> 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 you underestimated the sus. 
<laughs> Super <laughs> sus. <laughs> I don't know if I want to continue <laughs> with the story. <laughs> Super sus. Oh, man. Oh, we just got outed. <laughs> should, have, should have asked. Should have asked for the no, source. I knew, I knew, because oh. I was gonna make a point that the that the link is like some some fourteen year old guy making trend in his <laughs> mom's house. Oh god. <laughs> Fuck. Oh man. Um, but yeah, let's continue. So I heard that by product of making these babies um, be immune to HIV, they're actually mistakenly smarter. As far as understanding, memory, cognition, you could Google this too. But yeah, this is what I heard. This is what I read. And uh, it's actually interesting. Like, Did Dr. Evil respond to this? Uh, I'm not sure. Because this think is so. literally up his alley, this whole CRISPR shit. Yeah, but like a lot of, a lot of, bro, like sometimes, sometimes this guy is just like gone, you know what I mean? Or he just doesn't respond. But regardless, um, that's kind of cool. And the guy did three years, bro. The guy, he did three years in prison. He went in 2019. He came out this year. That's fucking crazy, bro. He just got released. Just tagging our boy to get some thoughts on that later. Yeah, that's fucked up. I mean, I'm not surprised that he got three years because that... that that's communist China. Well, obviously, I mean... They control everything that they want there. That's not everybody knows this. It's not a fucking. S that's not newsworthy. If you do anything that Chinese authorities or the Chinese government feel that you don't, that doesn't align with what they want out of you, yeah, they'll you know, take your job, take your kids, take take you to jail, take your anus, take you um, out, take you out, wine and dine, and then fucking take in you your ass. out, out, yeah. yeah, in your ass, and then they'll take it out, and then they'll be like, yo. All right, speaking of in your ass. Suck it. How do you feel about these motivational videos? Okay, that yeah. Hold on. I need, I need to explain the context here, my guy. Okay. So when you see these videos and you're scrolling through on TikTok or Instagram about, you know, guys saying that, hey, hey, want to make $10,000? Follow down below. And then they'll, like, show you all these things that, you know, you supposedly can make you money, whether they're side hustles or whether they're fucking products or ideas or whatever the fuck. How do you, how does this shit sit with you? You have to take a lot, like a certain perspective when you're looking at these things. Sometimes you have to take them at face value, and sometimes you have to take them in a in a deeper context. In this subject, I would say you have to take what they say in a deeper meaning. Now you're gonna get a lot of garbage thrown at you. All a lot of these ads, like, oh, you can make ten thousand dollars a month. You can. But what's the underlying meaning of these? I'm talking about like the more significant guys that are actually like promoting good work for yourself. That's work what I for get. yourself. Not only is it work for yourself, but it is the fact that working for yourself, the risk at a young age, you can recover from that. And the opportunity for you to make excessive amounts of money at a lower tax rate is a lot higher. This is the Vaynerchuk methodology. Yeah. Is what this is. I don't even know who Vaynerchuk is. Of course. I mean, you've probably seen clips of him. Probably. He's a like fucking guy who, like, I, I would try to mimic him, but I, I would suck ass at it. But he's, like, super animated when he talks. He says fuck. He's, like, a up-there business guy, right? What's his name? Gary Vaynerchuk. Gary, Gary v. v. We already covered this guy. Vaynerchuk, yeah. yeah, yeah like, okay. Oh, I don't know this guy. Yeah. What? So... The Vayner truck fucking yeah, it's, it's 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 the V. It's the V method, right? Uh, it's I don't, this idea I don't of like I don't pursue these things earlier because, you know, if it doesn't work out, then fuck it. Like that that's what his mentality is when he gives advice to a lot of people. Uh, ask like, what should I do with my life? I've been wanting to. Sure, I think there's some influence uh, there, but what I think is like it's it's at a certain point, it's like once you hit like thirty, it might not be it might not be worth it. You might not have enough time. So that's why I oppose his idea. I don't know if that's how he's what he says too. What he says, there are certain things that make sense and, and don't and don't or whatnot. But the stuff he says about what we're talking about right now, which is like trying to do these things for you and all that stuff, and you know, especially early on in life because you have so much time to recover. I I think that's all like really fair advice. 
there's a reason why people will copy it and then we'll say the same thing because it 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 does make sense yeah earlier on in life if you have these ideas that you want to pursue fucking pursue them because you're most likely especially if you're living in north america in a position where if you try and fail you don't really set yourself back that much now i have to say though disclaimer is like in more expensive cities you have less of a window i would say like a you know if you live in like san fran the coast yeah coastal cities you have less of a chance of this happening. The fact that like you have less of a time frame. Yeah. So like if you're if you're living like in the prairies and you have until thirty to come yeah, up yeah. with a business plan, if you're living on like the coasts, mm -hmm. you probably have until like twenty five maybe. I think for most people the easiest common denominator common denominator is so long as you're still living at your parents, literally try anything. Cause if shit goes belly up, you're at your parents. Yeah. You're fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, no matter how long you can stay there for, whatever, how long you have planned for, that is a time where you can just, like, really fucking just go at it. Because try three ventures and see if they ca if they pan out or not. Try and start a fucking sports betting business. Yeah. Who knows, right? Yeah. And the whole if, yeah, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, because, yeah, if, if it doesn't work, then where are you? In the same place that you started. Yeah. You don't lose anything. For other people, yeah, this is true. Like, especially as you mentioned, if in a coastal city, in your late twenties, living on living on your own, if shit goes titty tits up, you're in a bit you're a bit more exposed. Because it, it, to climb the ladder in those cities is a lot high is is a lot harder than to climb the ladder in like Edmonton or something, right? Because Edmonton, there's like certain jobs that pay well and there's certain jobs that don't, and you just get the job that pay well. And yeah. Yeah. And the ratio of, of what you get to what living costs are, are are not as significant as coastal cities. But the whole reason we're saying make a business is <laughs> is um is because you're outside of like the regular grid of people yes. which otherwise determined as like the matrix or whatever, right? You're 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 not paying these crazy tax laws, you know, like a urologist if they're making like nine hundred thousand, they're making really four hundred and fifty thousand. That's fucking insane. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Like 50% tax rate. Like that's fucking nuts. Yeah. And it only gets worse in Europe. Like Europe is fucking significant. People, people think we pay terrible tax rates. Bro, Europe pays extremely worse tax rates, but somehow they're happier. I don't know how the fuck that works. I think if you if we paid zero taxes, people would be more happy. No? What do you think? I think you'd be surprised. I think it'd fuck you up. But what if we all just agreed to be good people? Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Dumbest thing I've heard all night. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let's just be good people, man. What Stupidest happened? thing I've heard all night. <laughs> what happened? I thought you were a man of God, bro. I am, but I'm also a fucking realist, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you hear it here first, guys. He barely believes. He's logic before religion, and that's the double R, man. That's the phantom, the bro. The double R. The double R. We're going with Rose Royce Phantom. Jesus. Um, I th the I other the hold on hold on no, I, have, I have one no more no thing go ahead say. that's fine um the other way the the that making a business is the hardest way but the other way of um still trying to you could somewhat get away from the matrix is um having multiple sources of income so this does mean that you have to inefficiently work a lot more hours yeah but some people can do it some people can actually manage to work a lot of hours. It's just that it's the easier path, just not as, as efficient. Because if you build a business that works while you're sleeping, why do you, like, that's so significant that you're so outside the realm of, like, regular income that you're no longer a regular person. <laughs> do that again. <laughs> do that again. No. Come on, bro. No, I'm shy. This guy was just... I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was I'm nose shy. deep in that mic. I'm shy. Yeah, I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> How many times did you say that in Thailand, bro? Come on, man. <laughs> Take it easy. Yo, this guy went to the red light district and just stayed there. <laughs> I'm, I'm still there. <laughs> mentally, I'm still there. Well, fuck mentally, bro. His <laughs> anal hole is still there, bro. Dude, I'm pretty sure it's here. Relax. Oh, man. I don't know. When, when he takes a shit, it just ends up in Thailand somewhere. <laughs> Jesus. I, I think what you're saying... <laughs> Get it together. Bro. No, no, because because you say this inefficient way of working. Because right, you have multiple sources of income, and 
it might be inefficient, but it, it's a way. And it's not wrong. And I think it probably is the simplest way, not the easiest, right? Because some because something is simple doesn't mean that it's easy. There are a lot of things that people do that are technically simple, but are actually kind of they're they're hard to do. Okay. It doesn't take much, you know, fucking brain power, but it's gonna take a lot of effort, a lot of hours, a lot of whatever. What some of these guys will start pushing to you is something that's. I don't want to say it's bad, but it can kind of get annoying if you hear it all the time. It's this idea of passive income, passive income, you know, make 10 G's a month doing nothing. I think that's selling people on some bullshit Absolutely. because they're selling people on this idea that you can just sleep through life and you will make it out better than 90% of people around you, Baloney. which makes no fucking sense. No sense. And I don't think it's fair to be pushing this idea to kids because they're mainly kids who are watching this shit. Yeah. Right? Especially on social media, on TikTok especially. Because a lot of these guys are huge on TikTok. That's the reason why when you go to their Instagram page, say shit like, oh, like 5 million on, on TikTok, and they're like 130K on Instagram. Mm. Most of those TikTok followers are either bots or they're young, they're young kids, right? And so... Your market on these platforms are younger minded. And if you're just pushing this idea that you can get away through life of not doing shit and making it better than most people out there, just doesn't sit right with me. I think it's it's just not fair to like not only lie to these kids, but promote this idea that it's OK to be doing that. Also, there's like grades of uh, there's tiers, I would say, of um, status among these platforms like tiktok is probably i would say the worst yeah i would say twitter's up there i would say youtube's up there I yeah, would yeah. Say, i would say major would be like movies is up there like you see like the rock he's not gonna he doesn't give a fuck yeah about yeah, TikTok, yeah 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 right I, I agree but like addison ray she's not gonna come do some fucking disney fucking movie that's well she didn't have a movie on netflix but yeah but th it's rare right it's yeah it is it there's is. It's easier to transition from up there to yes, down here 100%, 100%. than from down here to up there. Um, I, I will say that the one or one of the few things that I like about these guys, or not even these guys, but the ones that I come across that I do like, are the ones who will promote creative thinking. Like right. they'll, they'll give you ideas, right? They'll they'll push you to think different in some way. So the guys who are saying, you know, when it comes to whether it's a creative endeavor, like you know videography photography or uh some kind of social media marketing or stuff that you can do or guys will push like real estate or whatever if if they're promoting these creative ideas or these unique ways to think about things and and it gets you as the viewer to think about things differently in a good way okay i i, I actually do like those and I, and I do follow some of those guys but if your whole thing is about promoting some bullshit like Top 10 new side hustle ideas for July 2022. And it's like, oh, if you translate on this fucking random site, you'll get $20 per fucking page that you read or some bullshit like that. Or if you read, you can do this. Or it's like, oh, the, the one that I saw recently kind of like didn't piss me off. But I was like, what the if fuck? If you read, you can do this. The one that was kind of weird was like. The idea was that you could make money off selling merchandise. Okay. And I believe you, that. you would start. No, but <laughs> the way that you would start it is that you would go on Canva. You know Canva, right? Mm -hmm. You would learn how to make some basic template of some bullshit. Literally some bullshit because they're not telling you to, like, use your company logo or come up with some. Literally just, like, play around, basically, is what they're telling you to do. Come up with some random design. Go to this other website that will put your image on some kind of T-shirt. And when you link that somewhere, if someone clicks that link, they can buy that shirt. So this company takes all the work, all the front end work out of you because you don't have to buy the shirt and then print it yourself. The company already has the shirt, so they'll just put it on and whatever, ship it to the customer. And then the final step was find somewhere to start putting this link. So whether it's like Pinterest or whatever or whatever. Dude, we can do this. Yeah, but it's literally a bunch of bullshit. 
And this guy's making it out to seem like it's some fucking life hack or some shit. No, it's kind of like uh, it's it's kind of like using Anchor, but uh, you have to pay because the shirt costs money. No, but you wouldn't. Oh, did you wouldn't? No, you don't pay shit as like the person creating this because that company is taking on all of that risk, so-called risk. They have thousands of T-shirts, and all you would do is you're saying, "Oh, I want to put my design on a white T-shirt," and this is going to be the link. So when I give this link to my followers, if they click the link, they're going to be buying a white T-shirt with this logo. And then when they click buy, then you make it for them. Sick. Sure, but it's. I'm in. Sure, you're in. But it's like, not, no, it, I, y- I get it. If it's you not, have, it's not some complicated ma- scheme. Ma- no, my issue is that it's not a. The, it's the idea of promoting nothing is somehow going to generate something. Right. The. The, the t-shirt printing that's that's not the thing that's being sold right because that's a service mm. you could use that if you had a if you had a power washing company yeah you would absolutely use this service to print your t-shirts because you're like i don't have to buy t-shirts well that's extra leg work whatever but this guy's whole idea is like oh yeah go to canva and make some random fucking bullshit logo and then put it on and then it'll sell no, like no, what the fuck, man? Like, the, 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 the what portion, is this? The Where is a good idea here? <laughs> the portion that I think is the real problem is that it will sell. It it won't sell. Uh, that's just what the fuck. Not like, how it works. You know the example I saw was this guy fucking picked some fucking unicorn, some random fucking unicorns. Like, oh yeah, because people search unicorns, they're gonna somehow land on your fucking unicorn design. Yo, get the fuck. What out the of fuck here. is get this, man? Like, <laughs> yeah, that's that's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, those are the ones that I don't like. The, the, the idea I don't have a problem with. I have a problem with the generation of income or the, the, the how much it can, yes, yeah. the potential. I have a problem with because this is the same bullshit I've seen for years, for years. Dude, even back in like drug dealing days, people would sell you lines and be like, this thing makes 40 G's a day. And you'd be like, 40 G's a day, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, 40 yeah. G's a week, get the fuck. If I heard 40 G's a month and if, if they're selling it to me for like, Less than a hundred grand, I'll be I'll be sus. I'll be like, why are you selling me a phone that makes you forty G's a yeah. month? Yeah, and you're selling it f- to me for less than a hundred G's, bro. You should be selling me this phone for what it generates in like one to three years. Yeah, that's what that's how businesses are are priced, right? How much Subway makes in you know thirty six yeah, 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 months? Yeah. That's how much I'm gonna I'm gonna sell it for. And it just doesn't make sense. So you got to be careful. There's a lot of Ponzi bullshit fucking pyramid schemes. 100%. I, I think one of the causes of this is that these guys, to stay relevant, have to keep posting. Yeah, 100%. They lose. They start. Cause the ideas start getting uh, diluted. Exactly. Like and bullshit. this is they've built a brand on yeah, yeah, this yeah. shit. They've good. built a brand on, s- on giving you these like good side hustle ideas. How many fucking side hustles do you think there are out there? Like. This guy makes hundreds of videos a year, and each video has, like, top five. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's like, 500. You're talking 1,000 ideas in two years. What the fuck? That's like, obviously. The, yeah. That's the problem with uh, having a, a niche. Or, or trying a to niche, stay relevant. Right? Yes. And trying to stay relevant is, like, okay, if, you're, if you just do bodybuilding content, well, there's only so much bodybuilding content. If you just do fucking X content. There's only so much of that. And eventually, after seven years of posting every week or every day, you're going to run out of shit to say, man. I, I think the smartest guys or the most successful ones are the ones that get into some kind of service. So they get into a service. You seen Hustlers University? Ugh. Get the oh fuck get that shit out of here, man. That's Christ. hilarious. But, dude, uh, but yes, makes money. to be fair, that would be an example of what I'm saying of like the most successful and the, the – because that shit will continuously earn you money, any kind of service. Yeah. So guys who are um, real estate consultants, yeah, that's a service, and that will generate money like X on X because they already have multiple whatever their fixed um, sources of income are with regards to the rental properties, their whatever flips, house. Okay, fine, fair enough, whatever. You make a lot of money doing that. But the service side of things – are great because one that it's it's so scalable because it doesn't require any capital to start yeah a service is a service you don't have to buy something to start a service right you can if it's your own knowledge you could just start it tomorrow 
versus like there are other things where it's like an investment it's like shit do i have 50 grand to invest here so i can make 200 grand maybe maybe not but on a service it's like starts at ground zero and you can just keep going with it and you can take a break and nothing happens and you can go back into it you don't have to like there's no upkeep you need on this because it's a service that you're providing to people mm. those i've seen are like the, the really smart guys where they find their whatever they're good at and they eventually offer a service to show other people how to make that better whether it's scummy or not it generally seems to be the most successful. Would you say they're mostly passive? Of uh, the services that provide are services provided. aren't passive because you have to actively like provide the service. Like what? Are, what, what can you give me a couple lists of things that would be considered services? Okay, yeah, like real estate consultants. Okay, so, so that, would, uh, that so would be like a one to one. Yeah. So well, whether it's one to one or whether it's like you train five guys and now those five guys are training one on ones, so you're not doing one on ones anymore. You'll do like groups with like your high levels kind of thing, right? So you're not spending right. time with like the hundreds of people that right. are coming in all the time and like personally being like, yeah. I but you might build. do like some concert type shit. Yeah. Well, yeah, you've seen these guys like Ed yeah. Milet and all these fucking. Yeah. A hundred percent. so cringy. I hundred percent. hundred percent. I couldn't sell my, I couldn't sell shit like that. It, j- it just, I at know. a certain point, I just feel so scummy. Like Dr. Phil type guys. Like just yeah, yeah, yeah. Selling shit to the masses and these. Bible thumping dummies from like Alabama just buying this shit, and I'm like, oh my god! Like, is this how we want to turn the world? <laughs> like, we're gonna have kids eventually. Do you want your kids to come out here? That's a good question. Let's end on that. Do you want your kids to be born in Canada with the way inflation and lifestyle is going, and how hard it is year after year to own real estate, and how the the salaries aren't going up, and you're competing with billionaires. And when you think about the idea of being a male, right? Maybe not a female. If you're a pretty female, you might have a you might have an out. But if you're a male, you're you kind of have like a one v one or you versus the world mentality. Yeah. Because you have to compete with other males as far as intelligence, money, scale of other things, right? You have to deal with other guys to compete with for what you want. There's um. There's a couple of fixed – it's not like con- – I'm trying to think of like – oh, there's a couple of fixed conditions here that aren't going to change, which makes this question kind of difficult to answer. One of them is this idea that the world's population is continuing to increase. So as soon as you're asking me this question, I'm thinking like – well, for the longest time, you know, that's been this every generation's problem. It's like, oh, the next generation is going to have to deal with more inflation. The next generation is going to have to deal with, with more of like a, a wage gap. And the next generation is going to have to deal with more of like an income to, to like, let's say like house gap. Yeah. But then you're like, why would it go down? Right? If you have people continuously populating the earth they're gonna have to continuously find somewhere to live demand's only gonna keep going up while supply is gonna eventually keep going down or they'll find more innovative ways to increase it regardless of that i can't think of a way that it just goes down and there's like a there's like a downward trend i can what do you think sure population control um, so this goes hand in hand with actually having smarter kids. And th- this is why we don't want to start killing people off that are dumb. This that's radical as fuck. But for the purpose and the the betterment of living in a ha- on habitat of Earth and not exhausting the environment, we would want to have a balance, a stability as far as demand, population, and have a control on that. We don't want people that are related to people that have made crimes to populate if they can't pass certain measures. Intelligence, financial, uh, psychological. I think you need to test people before they have kids. I think the right to have kids is like, I don't think everybody should be able to do that. We're so far from this. Because this is like a step beyond even China's one child policy. This is because the one child policy. This is a step beyond. Let me tell you where this this is going to come in. One world government. This is going to be like 10 years after one world government. 
or maybe sooner. maybe who knows but, but yeah because like yeah. the one child policy was just meant to control population with the amount of babies that were coming out what you're saying is like a, a fucking three steps beyond that so fuck man who knows maybe that is a solution but till we get there i don't know how i don't think it would actually reverse everything kind of goes back to statistics you have to kind of look at most of life with stats the moment i got the leanest in my life and the biggest in my life was when i started counting my calories the moment that i started actually learning and calm side was when i would sit and put everything away for like six hours four hours and be like i'm just gonna study calm side and every time i didn't i i would get distracted i would just like slap myself into fucking realizing I got to go back to comp site. Like trying to learn SQL was insane for me. It was yeah. worse than Java because it was so boring. I was like, I, I would never want to work in, in a in a pos- in a job that uses SQL on a daily basis. Fuck. I would fucking hate this database garbage. Hmm. And then you get it to like no SQL and plus it, it kind of improves. But the general consensus was I hated that. So what I did was I just forced myself to learn it. And <coughs> at a certain point, you can only be retarded for so long. <laughs> You know, I'm a firm believer that certain people are gifted and certain people spend a certain amount of hours or something and just master something. Yeah. So if you don't and you don't have the foresight of being like, okay, I should, you know, master a certain task or a certain gift and you do it like midlife, you have to have a tendency of like slapping yourself into like forcing yourself to learn this. Eventually, your determination is going to surpass your retardation, right? <laughs> and I'm coming on the glimpse of, of that, right? Like, I'm getting, like, 88%, 90% consecutively in my classes. Yeah. So I'm, like, fucking ec- ecstatic. But I'll tell you, like, it's it's almost this alpha toxic garbage they talk about where it's actually just motivated, like, fucking individual. It doesn't even have to be, like, a male or a female. Yeah. It could e- be a fucking transgender. As long as you're motivated, you spend the hours... You could literally do whatever the fuck you want. Like, I think you can get your fucking master's and start teaching mechanical engineering at UBC if you wanted to. Yeah, why not? You know what I mean? But your nose is just in the fucking way. Every Damn time it. you open the door, boom. Damn it. Every time you go to eat some puss, it's Dude, like... Dude, this haze is making us look like we are living on heaven. I don't know about you, but, like, I'm, uh, I've been in heaven since, like, 735 today. <laughs> you know, I had a couple good words of wisdom from Jesus himself. Damn, bro. He likes to refer to himself as Jesus. I don't know why. He, f- he keeps telling me he's Mexican, but I'm like, bro, you got, you're not even hopping no fence here. There's no, <laughs> nothing, there's no fence to hop, son. We're in the clouds. Give me some last words, you fuck. Last words, you fuck. Well, I think you definitely need to be watching out for uh, what kind of situations you get into, whether it's a 6 or a 8 or a 10 or a 4. Y'all got to watch out out there. Be mindful of what you need. And uh, with regards to everything else, man, fucking be careful having babies. Yeah, dude. You, I mean, if, if you look at yourself, right, and you're like, man, I'm fucking retarded, right? Don't have babies. I'm, have, I'm, I'm retarded. And then you, you think about all the times that you talk to your girl, and you're like, man, I'm right every time. That's when you got to break up with that girl and then go get a vasectomy, right? And then just... Don't have kids, right? Easy as that. Don't have kids, right? And with that, I think we're out of here, man. Peace. Peace.